Welcome back. New research on prostate cancer. A study finds that men who eat a diet high in vegetable fats, such as those in nuts and olive oil, may be less likely to have their disease spread. So, Dr. Samadhi, tell us about this. Well, this is a very, very fascinating field that's upcoming and it's evolving. The studies are not quite there yet, but what we're starting to understand, for example, not too long ago, we talked about how vitamin E can actually help prostate cancer, but then later on we found out that vitamin E actually increases prostate cancer. This particular study is interesting because it's a relation of diet and prostate cancer, which is something that we don't know much about. And we always said that, yes, prostate cancer is a silent killer, race, genetics plays a role, but diet, we always said high fat can increase the risk of prostate cancer and high fiber is good for you. So stick to low fat diet. Now we're distinguishing between different type of fats. So there's good fat that we are looking for, avocados, pistachio, nuts, olive oil, which is part of a big Mediterranean diet that we've spoken about, and the bad fat, which is all the grilled trans fat, burgers, fries, cookies, ice cream that you want to stay away from. What they found in this particular study that if you stick with vegetable fat, you can reduce the risk of spread and metastasis and rate of death from prostate cancer, which is important. So I think the big message is that what exactly happens with prostate cancer? The cells start to kind of uh, go through cycles. They repair themselves. Inflammation is the key word when it comes to this because inflammation causes the cells to go much faster and one of them will jump out of cycle and causes cancer. And that's one of the reasons why you want to keep your prostaglandins inflammation low, sticking to healthy food, the olive oils and everything that we spoke about. Important study. Uh, what is the test for inflammation? That's for, is it the CRP? Right, that's one of the tests you do for inflammation. But, you know, it, this study actually looked largely at people who already had prostate cancer to see what caused spread. And they were trying to say that vegetable fats decreases your risk. But it's what we call, and we've talked about this a lot on the show, an associated finding, meaning it's not a proof that the, that the vegetable fats are the issue. And as David is pointing out here, what is it about people that eat? diets low in vegetable fats. Well, we love a Mediterranean diet. We love the nuts. You know, we love the fish. We love the vegetables. We talk about it a lot here. But people that don't eat that, what do they eat? They eat trans fats. They eat carbohydrates. They eat cookies. They're sedentary. They don't exercise. They smoke. So that's the problem with this study, which is it, it points out that if you have an unhealthy lifestyle, you're going to have a problem more, more at risk for prostate cancer and more at risk for its spreading. And probably those guys that eat healthy food, they probably are exercising, they're also doing all the right thing. So it's hard to know. And I would caution people, a lot of holistic doctors, they're legitimate, most of them, but there are a lot out there on radio selling these vitamins and stuff. Be careful because this field is evolving. All right. Exciting. Well we